Alright guys, so today I'm going to be doing a simple Photoshop tutorial on retouching a photo. So here I'm going to open up Photoshop, pretty simple. And I'm going to get my picture, actually I have it on the desktop. So just drag it over to the Photoshop and plop it on top. And you wait, there it is. So you open it up and here's our photo. I got this picture from DeviantArt, it's stock photo and I thought it was a pretty good photo, it just needs some help. So what we're going to do is we're going to fix all these kind of blemish areas that cracks in the lips and such and just kind of even out the whole photo and make it look a whole lot better. So what we're going to do is, let's see, okay, we're gonna go up to filter, and go to blur, and then go to Gaussian blur. This is going to give us a nice blur. So you're going to want to do is, depending on your picture, you kind of adjust the amount of blur you want. Some pictures need more or less. I think we're going to be good right around 8.8 .8 pixels. Click OK. Now what you're going to want to do is you want to go down to the history panel and you're going to click on the snapshot. So you're going to take a snapshot and you'll see here you have the original and your snapshot. You want to click on that little box for the snapshot and you can just go ahead and delete the Gaussian blur that you already did and that'll go away and now you want to use the history brush which is found right here and the history brush is what we're going to use to uh, paint the face and nice and blur it in and ease you want to make sure that your you know opacity is pretty low because this is kind of a slow process otherwise it'll just look ridiculous if you go too much at once so you just slowly start blurring away and the magic happens so you just kinda lightly paint along the face and there we go it gets rid of some of these pretty dark crease circles under the eyes I think for this fit picture I definitely want the eyes to be the main focus got some pretty nice eyes and you kinda wanna make sure that you kinda give it a nice even blur all over the picture otherwise the areas that don't have any sort of blur at all won't look natural definitely wanna try and get rid of some of this some of the more prominent blemishes can be more difficult and that's where you can adjust the amount of the blur that you use in the Gaussian blur Just kind of give a nice even coat. You can be as finicky as you want about this. It's up to the artist how much you want to blur. I'll do a little bit right here. Kind of blur around here. A little more right there. A little bit on the lips. We're gonna have to use different tools to help these lips. Blur is not gonna do it completely. And I think for this I'm going to actually blur the piercing because I want our main focus to be the eyes. Just kind of see some areas where it doesn't look quite as natural. So now what we're going to do is we're going to dodge and burn. I'm gonna select the burn tool you again want to make sure that your exposure is down kind of low because it's kind of like a gradual process and you just slowly start putting the details back in. As you can see the face looks kind of you know shiny and flat so you start kind of getting the shadows back in there. I'm going to start getting more realistic shadows going on there. I'll make the lips a little darker. Make them stand out a bit more. For the lips, I'm actually going to blur them. Make sure your strength is down pretty low. You don't want to smear the heck out of them. I'm actually just going to kind of smear away the cracks. Make them smooth. 
again, it's up to the artist about how much, you know, smearing and blurring you actually want to do, but I'm trying to make these lips look as presentable as possible. Smear away some more of the cracks. Okay, so now we're going to do some more burning. In pictures like these, I don't know for me, when you do lots of blurring, sometimes the shadows get really lost and you can lose a lot of clear in the picture and it can look really flat. So now we're going to add a few highlights and make these lips look nice and shiny. And you want to check and make sure that your exposure isn't too high. Otherwise you'll just make it way too crazy. And you know, you go back and forth. I'm just going to work on the eyes a little bit more. And you can be as manicky about this as you want. A little bit more on the lips. And I think we're looking pretty good. Just a couple more simple details. Yeah, I think our picture looks pretty good actually. So we went, yeah, let's move this over a little bit. So pretty big change from uh, this picture to that. I think she looks a lot better. So it's a pretty, pretty simple steps. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Hope it works out for you guys. If you have any questions, just uh, leave me a comment in the comment box. And thanks for watching!